Hello Year 6, welcome to Monday's science lesson. So we've been learning about space, uh, we've found out about the different planets. Uh, Friday was well, a chance to look at stars and constellations, I hope you managed to do that. I actually went for a dog walk uh, when I got home from work and as I was walking around I noticed that the stars were out and I could see Orion's belt. So that was a constellation, it's a fairly standard one that's easily spotted. Um, but if you didn't manage to do that on Friday, don't panic. But if you get a clear night, have a look at the stars. They're amazing. And, and the shapes that you will see um, that link to constellations, if you search online, you'll find little maps that will show you what sort of constellations and where, they, where to be looking for them. Um, but today, we're going to think about space vocabulary. So vocabulary linked to our topic. Below is a, key, is a grid of key vocabulary linked to the topic. You've already completed five lessons and so you should recognize some of these words. Today's task is to match the words labeled with letters to the definitions labeled with numbers, okay? So if we have a little look here, can you see where we have letters? So we've got A, B, C, and so on. We only have a word with each one. So phases, rotation, orbit, planets, seasons, and so on. Where we have numbers, we have a little definition. So, number one, the curved path of a celestial object. Number two, visible by reflected light from the sun. And what you need to do is match a letter to a number. Now, this might not be correct, but you might think that A matches to number two. And all you would write in the answer box, which is at the bottom of the page here, is A2 within that box. Okay, and that is the, all the writing you're going to have to do is for each of those just match a letter and a, a number. However, I do expect to see accurate answers, correct answers. So rather than just simply guessing, take the time to check the definitions of the words. Check what they mean. Okay, and remember, if you type in phases, phases has multiple meanings. It is specific that the meaning you're looking for is specific to our topic about the space. Ironically, if you look at H, we have the word space. If you type space in and look for a definition, you'll get multiple meanings. And remember, it has got to be linked to our topic, the meaning we are looking for. So try to match up the letters to the numbers. Okay. The thing that will take you time today is finding the definitions. Once you've done that, the actual task should not take you any time at all. But good luck with it because it's really, really valuable. We need to understand the vocabulary that we're using and that we come across. Um, and it's a really, really important lesson. So do take the time to do it properly. Um, and again, should be able to see you then using these uh, pieces of vocabulary in future pieces of work as the week goes on. All right, good luck and send any finished pieces to CSOP.